Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under type 2. Here we have problem 7. Already we have solved problem 1 to 6 in our previous video lectures. Now here the question is, solve PQ is equal to Z square. So we observe that only P, Q and Z are present explicitly. In this case, the given equation is of the form capital F of Z, P, Q equal to 0. The first step is we have to mark the given equation as equation 1. And then we have to put Q is equal to AP in equation 1. So in equation 1, wherever we have Q, we have to replace it by AP. So equation 1 can be rewritten as P multiplied with what is Q? AP. So AP is equal to Z square. So from this, we can write P square is equal to Z square divided by this A. When it comes to the right, it comes to the denominator. And so the value of P will be equal to plus or minus square root of Z square divided by A. So that will be equal to plus or minus square root of z square is z divided by square root of a. So therefore we have obtained the value of p to be equal to plus or minus z divided by square root of a. So this is the value of p. The next step is we have to make a substitution of p and q in dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. We know that Q is equal to AP. So when we replace it, so P, DZ will be PDX plus AP DY. On the right, P is common. And so we will be having DX plus A DY. Taking this P to the left, it becomes DZ by P is equal to DX plus A DY. Now we shall substitute the value of P over here. What is P? P is equal to plus or minus square root, I mean plus or minus Z divided by square root of A. So when we substitute that, since P is here in the denominator, we have to take the reciprocal of this and substitute over here. So it will be plus or minus square root of A divided by Z, DZ is equal to DX plus A DY. Now integrating on both the sides, we will have plus or minus square root of A integral dz by z is equal to integral dx plus A multiplied with integral dy. So that will be further plus or minus square root of A. What is integral dz by z? It is log z. So log z is equal to integral of dx is x plus a multiplied with integral dy is y plus a constant of integration b. Now, in order to get rid of the square root over here, let us square on both the sides. So, when we square, plus or minus turns to be plus itself. And square root of a, the whole square will be a. And then log z, the whole square is equal to x plus a y plus b, the whole square. So this is the required solution of the given problem. I hope you would have understood this problem. So kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 8 in this topic. Thank you.